In this video, I will show you how to make your Ender 3 print silent with the new Creality Mainboard 115 and we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing and if you're here for the first time, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Everyone who owns a 3D printer knows that cheap printers can be quite noisy for various reasons. One might be because of the fan noise a 3D printer generates during printing. The other one might be the motor drivers on those main boards, be it either a or Creality or others. Most of them are still using A4988 drivers because they are super cheap. Of course, you can find solutions for defective or loud fans and get better replacements, but you will still be left with the loud stepper drivers. So how do we fix this issue without too much tinkering and a lot of headaches? The answer is we're going to install this brand new Creality Mainboard 115 for the Ender 3, which has TMC2208 style and stepper drivers. And since it's coming directly from the manufacturer of this printer, you can expect that it will fit perfectly for this printer in all its cables and connectors. So this should be a simple swap out upgrade. I'm also giving away one of these mainboards for free. If you like to enter the giveaway, use the link crosslink.io slash free to enter. Technically the only difference between this version and the original one in this printer are the stepper drivers. The original mainboard has A4988 stepper drivers, which are known to produce a lot of stepper driver motor noise because they only support 16 micro steps versus 265 micro steps supported by the TMC 22A8 drivers on this mainboard. The thing about more microsteps that you will appreciate most is that TMC2208 drivers are controlling the motors in a way that produces a lot less noise. This is the unique selling point of these drivers. That feature is also called Stealth Chop. To be able to compare the noise levels of the printer running on the old setup versus the new setup, I'm monitoring a print of a Benchy using a calibrated noise meter. So let's have a look at the setup for a moment. So this is the test setup. Um, I've set up my Ender 3 here and I've also removed all of the sound dampening uh, fan shrouds here. This one is for the electronics case and this one is for the power supply. So I just wanted to make sure that this printer is in the most original state as possible. And above the printer, we have the sound level meter and it's connected via USB to this computer over here. And on the computer, I have the sound level meter software running. So you can see here in real time the sound levels and I can set the sample rate. So currently the sample rate is set to 0.1 seconds. So we have 10 samples per second. And if I start the real time measurement, you can see here that there is a graph that's gonna build up over time and every time I say something here you can see that the noise level meter is reacting to my voice. So we're gonna start with just turning the printer on measuring the base sound level. Then we're gonna measure a Benchy print. Just to have a comparison curve for later where I'm going to attach the fan shroud covers again and uh, then in the third step I'm going to print with the new mainboard. But let's first start printing with the original setup. I've let the measurement run now for about 20 minutes. Let's have a look at the first result. I've exported the measured sound level curves into an Excel spreadsheet and created a line chart to visualize the values over time. Let's first have a look at the original setup without fan covers. You can see here that we have an initial idle sound level of 45 dBA after the printer has been turned on. During the warm-up phase, the levels go up to a max of about 52 dBA and then the peak noise of 63 dBA is reached during the homing phase. During the first layer print, the average level is about 50 dBA and during the following layers, it raises to an average of 55 dBA. So now I'm doing a second test and I put the fan shroud for the power supply back on and I also attached the electronics case uh, fan shroud again. So we can measure another round printing in Banshee with the original mainboard just to see whether there is a big difference using these fan shrouds and later we can compare that with the final result using the new mainboard. In the second test print with fan covers, the initial idle sound level is about 41 dBA. 
The warm-up phase maxes at 46 dBA, and during the printing phase, the first layer generates around 48.5 dBA on average. The following layers are 52.5 on average. If we overlay both curves, we can see that on average the noise levels with fan covers are lower than without fan covers. The difference during the warm-up phase is the most prominent one. The absolute difference there is 6 dBA. 6 dBA difference is pretty hefty. Some people will perceive 6 dBA difference about as almost double the noise level. I can definitely recommend printing these upgrades. I've linked both files in the description down below. So now that we know the sound levels of the original printer setup without and with fan covers, let's talk a bit about what we need to change on the Ender 3 to get consistent print results with the new mainboard and stepper drivers. A downside of the TMC2208 drivers is that they get a lot hotter during printing, so they need to be cooled properly, which gets us to the problem. The way how the mainboard cooling fan of this printer is operated by default. The cooling fan of the Ender 3 mainboard case is connected to the parts cooling fan of the hot end. This means it will not start running until the parts cooling fan starts to run. If you decide to turn down the amount of cooling you want for a print, let's say to 60%, the electronics case fan also is just going to run on 60%. If you disable cooling for the first layer, which is a common setting in most slicers, the mainboard will not get cooled until the parts fan starts running at the second or third layer, and some slicers increase the cooling gradually from the second layer on, which means the mainboard cooling fan might not be running at full speed until a few layers have been printed. This will induce issues with layer skipping or extrusion issues because the stepper drivers get hot quickly and might fail. So they need to be cooled from the first moment the printer starts printing. To fix this, we will connect the mainboard case fan directly to the power supply so it starts running as soon as the printer is turned on. And I would say this is also not the worst idea anyways, also for the stock mainboard. Besides that little change, the new mainboard is really just a drop-in replacement. Don't forget to remove the main power before you start tinkering with the power cables just to be safe. Now you take every cable plugged into the old mainboard and plug it into the same slot on the new mainboard. The same applies for the power heatbed and hot end cables which are fixed using power terminals on the mainboard. Let's now start to print the first Banshee to see and hear how the new mainboard performs and reduces noise levels on the Ender 3. Let's listen first to the homing sequence before. And now after the upgrade. Now let's listen how printing the first layer sounds before. And after the upgrade. Just my personal perception, I would say the motor noise is almost gone completely and the printer sound overall is much more pleasing to your ears. The loudest part left on this printer are the fans, but let's have a look at the final sound levels, which I overlaid onto the original two measurements with the old mainboard. The curve after the mainboard upgrade is the green one. So from here it looks like the noise levels are pretty much a flatline at 52 dBA. And this is the same level as the long-term print noise on the original setup. The homing noise, besides this little peak here, when the heat bed hits the end stop switch, is reduced a lot, so the effect on the motor noise is very visible. Why is the base noise level higher than before? The reason is that the electronics case fan now runs at full speed all the time, and the noise level of all fans combined seems to be 52 dBA. So I've researched a bit for ideas how to reduce fan noise while not compromising on the cooling, and I've found some promising mods for the Ender 3 with or without new and larger fans, and this is a topic I will talk about in one of the next videos of this playlist. Overall, I am pretty happy about this upgrade because because the high frequency print noises are gone completely and you cannot hear this printer anymore behind a closed door. Print quality on the other hand seems to be unaffected. I cannot see any visual difference between these two Benchies, 
but I also didn't expect any change. So if you like to get this new mainboard, you can get it on Amazon for about 40 US dollars. I've put an affiliate link in the description. Thanks, by the way, for supporting my channel by using these links. Or, or you can enter for the giveaway at crosslink.io slash free to win one of these brand new mainboards for free. It's also linked in the description and the top comment. Next time we will check whether this board's default firmware has terminal runaway protection, whether there's a bootloader on it by default, and how we can configure and flash Marlin firmware 2.0 onto this board. So stay tuned for that video. It's going to be linked in a card up here as soon as it's ready. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.